Hello. Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. Today we're going to be doing some unboxings from Diamond Art Club. And I want to say hi first and foremost. How are you doing? If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you're coming back, thank you. Welcome back. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified each and every time I upload any videos. What we're looking at right now is my just completed Space for Reflection Diamond Art Club Chuck Pinson's piece. Um, I, I know this isn't what I'm really doing, but I kind of wanted to put it out there and show it to you guys because I spent so much time on it and I really do love it. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, today I have with me my son Zeth. Seth is going to be doing some diamond art himself very soon. We just kitted him up today for his very first one, um, but we will talk about that more another time. Right now, we're going to be unboxing something from Diamond Art Club. Now, let's see. I just had my scissors. And you'd think I'd be more prepared. And I have a knife. I just can't at the moment think where it's at. But that works. So we got two in here. Let's start off with this one. Can you see it? Yep. Oh, I keep bumping the camera. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just get right into it. Hey, can I see over there? At some point, I'll have the proper tools set out and laid out for me to do all this with. Instead of just going right to it with the scissors. Sorry for all the crinkling. Can you put that in the trash, please? Thank you. Now, um, on your Diamond Art Club, I'm doing this so you don't see what picture it is. Um, this little pink round circle means it's round diamonds, not square. Um, it's got this holographic shine to it. Um, it's got a little scan me code there for 10% off. Now it tells you right here all about how to do it and then the kit contents and then some little bit more about their stuff, the high purity, high de definition and it's protected. So let's get right into this box, shall we? Always great boxes. Should I maybe turn this light on? Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, well. I wanted to turn that light on, but I think I unplugged it out of accident. Just a little bit ago. Sorry, everyone. All right, does that help or does that make it worse? Now that lighting is amazing for doing diamond painting. Um, I'm not so sure how it is for getting the view on the canvases and stuff. Now in here you have the drills, nice happy little packet, step-by-step -step instructions, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. There's nice little tricks, tricks and hints here. Oh, open this way. Okay. So that's good in case you have someone that doesn't know how to do diamond painting and you're giving it as a gift. You have it there to give to them if it's your first time. Um, the only thing I am concerned about is, there it is. It's 
hiding out at the very bottom of the box. I was concerned that the sticker and, oops, sorry, I forgot to put my head in there, and the toolkit were missing, but there they are. Okay, so let's get in the toolkit. Nice little bell and bag. Let's see. We're gonna go over this once, so pay attention, because the other one we're just gonna kind of throw off to the side. You've got a nice little storage of baggies, two nice diamond art club waxes. I prefer these over the regular pink wax. A little cat, um, tray with a funnel or a spout, excuse me. A little four placer, a squishy pad, and a blue pen with a single placer. Now that's pretty standard in all your kits. Um, at least that's what I usually see. And I'm not even doing it any pretty niceness. I'm just kind of throwing it in there because we will take care of that later. All right, I'm not gonna show you the sticker because I don't want you to see what it is. There's a little sticker that comes with every Diamond Art Club piece that you get that goes with piece. And some people make cover minders out of them. Those are those little magnets. Oh that oh. hold your pieces back. Okay, so Diamond Art Club, if you've never had it before, is a really soft, velvety kind of canvas. Um, lays out really good, lays out really flat. It's really soft. Yeah, they, they feel pretty nice. And this one isn't quite as big as the piece I just got done doing, but it's still a decent size. Let's move this out of the way. Let me know if, can you see this whole thing in here? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that just a little bit so we can see it better. Yeah. All right. You ready? Okay. It's gonna be running this way. This is the other sticker sheet. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh. All right. Wow. This is This Little Light of Mine by Mandy Manzano. It is a 16 and a half by 29 and a half. Um, we will be doing some measurements real quick to make sure about that. Who's that? As you can see, this is very, very, Oh, it's very beautiful. I don't have to. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Um, let me see how big this is. Centimeters. We have 41, 40, 41 and three quarters, almost 42 centimeters. And this one says it's 42 centimeters by 75 centimeters. Let's see, let's see it this way. And it's 74 and a half centimeters this way. So it's just short by a smidge, um, half a centimeter and two tenths of a centimeter the other way. Not bad, pretty spot on. Okay, let's see what kind of sticky this has going on. Oh yeah, it's good and sticky. Yeah, yeah. Just right there in the corner. Don't stick your whole finger down. Yep, just the sticky. tip. Yep, it's very sticky. All right, can you guys see that really well from there? Uh, I can see that a bit. Yeah, I can see that really good. All right, so what we're gonna do now to help it kind of relax is we're going to smooth it out. If I can find my smoother. I don't know where it went though. Hmm. Huh, that's weird. I just had it a little bit ago. Oh well, nope, there it is, hiding from me. Mm. It's just because I want to use it. It was like, no, nope, I'm gonna hide now. Yeah. The other thing about Diamond Art Club that I want to mention is that their edges on their canvas are all scalped and done nicely. They're serged, so there won't be any fraying. The plastic is really nice and a thick plastic, really durable. Um, I think you hold it. 
No, I don't need you to hold this one. This one's by the mouth. Make sure I don't blow up the camera. Make sure it's straight. As you can see, that helped a little bit. Okay, we can do it without doing it this time. It's not perfect, but it'll do. My biggest thing was, is I was rushing to get this video done so that I have these pieces to work on this weekend while all the kids are here running around making all kinds of noise and I can't really shoot any videos. Um, I still want to have something to work on. And so wanted to make sure to get this piece, these pieces unboxed. So I was I've been waiting on them. So anyway, there she is. Can you see her? Is she gorgeous? Let's see, can you see the drill field? Can you see the drill field in there? Can you see the symbols? Yeah, you can see the symbol too, you don't see the picture. I know, we're not trying to see the picture okay. right now. Right now we're trying to see the symbols to see how clear it looks for everyone. Yeah, it is pretty clear. It looks really good. Okay. I'm gonna look at these symbols here. Show you the thing here. There's 42 colors. And these are the symbols okay. they're using. Okay. So there are two Aurora Borealises in here. And if you don't know what an Aurora Borealis is, that is an AB drill that is, has a special coating on top of the top of the drill that makes it super shimmer, super shine, reflect, reflect those of its buddies around it and really just glimmer and pop and stand out. And they're pretty amazing, actually. I, I love them. I um, have another video of AVs, um, of the collection of those I got, if you want to watch that. Uh, I don't know how to really link things yet, but I'll figure that out. And if I don't, you can at least look through my videos and, and find it that way. Um, but we'll figure it out. So anyways, there she is. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay, let's turn her over so we can get the white background here and look at some of these drills. If you don't like crinkling, I'm sorry. We're gonna be a little bit crinkly. Another yeah. wrap, really good. Okay, I'm not gonna go through every color that we that we have in here. I'm just gonna kind of look at them. So I need you to be my 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 viewer. Can you see these okay? Uh, yeah. Can you see the different colors though, or is it really hard to see? You can only see like three of this of the same color. Alright, well can you see the colors if I put them over here? Not really. You can see like the purplish. Okay. Well, let's see. Maybe I can move this in to here and do it like this. No. Let's try doing that. There we go, that's a little better. It's kind of a green. And there's the purples. And kind of off-white. A little bit of a peach color to it. Really soft blue, soft yellow. A little bit of purple. Some browns going on. Some more purple. And there's some Aurora Borealis right there. It's yellow. That's really pretty. 
moving through to some different brown tones and earth tones, some greens, yellows. Sorry for the ringing there. I'm going to do that. So, kind of gives you an idea. There's a lot of purples and blues. Uh, quite a few greens, really, too, isn't there? Just a couple of greens. I bet you that yellow, that Aurora Boris yellow, is her little light that she's holding in her hands, a little candle. And of course, this is Mandy Manzano living 310 life. These are all 310 black. Um, there's some 939, which is kind of like a black. Okay, I didn't see the other Aurora Borealis. Did you see it? Nope. I think I missed it. Oh, I sure did. Oh, was that it? All right, there's one. see one Aurora Borealis drill. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, my bad. So one is just slightly more green, yellow, and one is more yellow cream. Can you see that? Can you kind of see where they have a little bit of a different shimmer and shine yeah. to them? Okay. So now that I gave myself a little mini heart attack over having Aurora Borealis drills when I have so many of them already anyways, but you know, there's that. Well, Sorry for the crinkling yeah. again. There's a little battery thing. It's fine. Um, these are not pretty. They're just in there. This is a lot of mine. This one is labeled, so I can sort separately. All right, Zeth, put that in the bag of drawers, and if needs, drills. Down there. Okay. All right. One last look at her, folks, before I put her up. Sorry for all the crinkling. Right. Okay, actually, I think we're going to stop there today and do the next unboxing in our next video. My battery is a little low, and um, I think I want to leave it there because she deserves her own spotlight. She's beautiful. Are you so, doing another one? Yeah. So with that being said, thank you for watching Crystal's Diamond Painting. I hope you enjoyed it today. This was this little light of mine, Mandy Manzano Diamond Art Club. And remember, do what makes you sparkle, like Diamond Art Club says. Do your thing. Collect if you want to collect. Enjoy what you enjoy. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.